Welcome to Google Tools for Schools Professional Development. In order to have the full experience of Google Tools Professional Development, we're going to ask you to create a brand new Google account. If you already have a Google account, you can use this, but it should be a public Google account, not your school or organization Google Apps account. So if you type in www.google.com, and hit the red sign in button, you can use your regular Google account to sign in to google.com. If you do not already have a Google account that is not your school Google account, notice the right hand button that says sign up. Click on sign up. This will give you a chance to create a brand new Google account. In this case, I'm going to create a Google account um, for a demo purpose. And I'm going to call this Google account Student GT, GTFS. And we change the name to Student GTFS. Create a password. It has to be at least eight characters. I have to include my date of birth. In this case, I'm just going to put January 1st in the year that I was born. Include your gender. If you have a mobile phone, you can include it here. And if you have a current address, they'll use that address to notify you if somebody else tries to hack into your account or if you lose your password, etc. So I'm going to use one of my other addresses. And of course, you have to prove that you're not a robot by typing in this little CAPTCHA. Agree to the terms of services. And I usually check this off about personalizing my account. You can leave it on if you'd like and hit Next Steps. Now we'll ask you to verify your account. It wants to make sure that you're not a robot. So you'll put in your phone number. If you don't have a phone number, you can put in the phone number of a friend. If you don't have a text phone, you can put in a friend's phone number or a friend's text message. This will give you a code that's going to be sent to you. And you'll need to do this just to prove that you're not a robot. Again, if you don't have a cell phone, or a phone, you might want to use a friend's phone and they will send you a text message or a voice message to that phone. Now where it says enter verification code, I'm going to wait for this message to come through my phone. And as soon as it comes in, I will type in the verification number they sent me. and hit continue. Now I'm ready to get started with my brand new account. In this case, studentgtfs at gmail.com. I'll hit get started. Notice when I'm logged into google.com, studentgtfs at gmail.com, that email address appears in the upper right hand corner. That's all there is to getting started. You'll learn more in our next tutorial.